Treasure, Providence Treasure, Dr. Treasures, the students call me. It's just me, Treasure. And the Lord led me to have an online Bible college and it started last fall. We just finished our first winter graduation. It was amazing. You can only know it by the sisters, the students. You have to go through the women page to see. God bless you. I discovered to my great surprise that there it is very rare to have an all women, all women focused online Bible college and on site Bible college. There are many Bible colleges that have women's uh, ministry courses, but there are not many uh, women's only Bible colleges. There are some. I'm certainly not the only one, but it is rare. I'm glad to be a part of that rare group because I believe that we need to specifically focus on the way God deals with his, his expression of the female part of his, I just have to say his expression because his, he is a spirit and he's not flesh, but he created man in his image and by man I mean mankind and he made us male and female God bless I want you to remember that we are spirit-led and we are an individualized educational program thirdly we are an emerging curriculum now an emerging curriculum is this it means you're teaching what you planned and then something happens along the process of teaching that, that emerges in the classroom or in your spirit or through God or through a student, and you follow that path. You always want to, this is the way God deals with me, and if you ever become a women teacher, uh, this is the only way we will ever do it as long as I'm alive. Um, we will always be spirit-led. We will always be individualized education based and we will always flow, flow, flow with the emerging curriculum. Yes, we plan. Yes, we prepare. And yes, we study. And yes, we give out homework assignments. Yes, we do a glossary of terms. Um, yes, we do tests. And yes, I print a syllabus. But I promise you, I make no apology to anyone that I change anything because I will obey the Holy Spirit. I will deal with you as an individual and I will pay attention to emerging curriculum. It is done in educational halls all over the world and I'm not the first one, but even if I were the first one, I wouldn't apologize. I just do it. So I'm off of that. WIMI is about application. Let's talk about application. Application, all of my inaugural students know very well. They can speak about it. If you go look at the webpage, uh, not webpage, if you go look at the public WIMI page on Facebook, where I'm speaking to you from now, you'll see that the WIMI students talk about that all the time. How we hear God say something, they learn a lesson, and I'm always in their homework or even in my discussions with them, I'm always about application. Application, meaning you have to go and do something with that. You pay 200, 250, you do a certain number of weeks, you get a certification at graduation and there twice a year. Then you get to the college credit. We are an accredited college uh, level and then you will uh, be asked to go a certain uh, lot more time and learn a lot more lessons as we process to progress in our our method of application and impartation. Just a little review for new people. Which is uh, Profit to Profit is Tuesday, 7 to 9. Uh, Shepherd is Fold is uh, Thursday, 8 to 9. Uh, Five Fold Leading Ladies is Wednesday, 7 to 10. And Veiled and Virtuous um, is Thursday, 7 to 8. Um, you can't start right then. You want to jump in in the next cycle, which is April. You might want to ask Shepherdess Ann or Kay, what does that mean for my scholarship? Where does that put me in 2022? That's the answer you need. Because on the end, you're going to have to pay if you push yourself out of what I gave you for free. That's your choice. I cannot possibly feel bad about giving you more than three years of education for free and you get upset with me about running out of time. Can't be possible that you would do that. I just know you're going to appreciate what the Lord gave you and honor that and do it in a timely manner. And even if you have to take breaks, 
talk to me and find a way to make it up and use your blessing. Use your scholarship, but don't abuse it. If you attempt to stretch it out, it's a waste of time because I have to give someone else one as it is until the Lord gives other finances for scholarship students. They already have to wait three years. I'm led right now to only give out 12. That's how rare the Matanah scholarship is. So I'm going to ask you to reconsider if yours wasn't uh, set in stone. If your husband, pastor, anything like that came up that made you have to halt, you better halt. You better change it. You better adjust. That's order. I'm all for you. But try to keep it in your free scholarship. Okay? So I'm done with that. See if that comes out right. See if that reads right to y'all. Okay, anyway, uh, this is our first class rings and we'll eventually get to the point where we're using real stones and real jewels and, and, and all of the precious uh, metals. Lovely. I love these because they are paparazzi jewelry with my own hand doing a decoupage art and they're unique. You're not going to find them anywhere. I'm all about that. So next week's class begins with Tuesday, and it is the Prophet to Prophet 7 to 9. And then on Wednesday, it is the Fivefold Leading Ladies. You that have graduated to that, yay, I'm so proud of you. It is a hard class, but you can help it. You can handle it. You can handle it. We are currently 20 students. And I just saw some ladies on here tonight when I said request registration information. They are already. I had someone contact me on the phone. Uh, others have been told, you students have told me your friends are going to register. So there's going to be a new group of you, but I'm willing to talk to my inaugural class and to my new students on an individual basis. I am available by the leading of the Holy Spirit, the grace God gives me to discern, whether it's a word of knowledge, revelation knowledge, prophecy, whatever it is, even a prophetic song. I'm going to get on that class uh, hour, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There's no class Monday, Sunday, uh, Saturday, or Friday. Always in the middle of the week. Okay, so then we go on and there are other classes um, after the Prophet to Prophet, which is an associate's degree. The Kingdom um, Fivefold Leading Ladies is your bachelor's degree. The Kingdom Women Anointed is the master's degree. The Kingdom Ladies Elite is the PhD and Kingdom Master's Chamber is what I call the cream of the crop. It is my a degree I created because I can if God tells me to do it I just can that culminates all of this together and says this person has taken on the highest degree of all of the fivefold ministry that this school affords and if you choose to go all the way to that and those are 24 week classes all right so we go from eight week class 10 week class 12 week then we jump to 20 week 21 24 and 24. All right. Then you can choose. It's not a class. After you've been in our school that long, three to three, uh, three, two years and nine months or three years and three months. Then we offer you Kingdom Commonwealth Fellowship of Churches with Bishop Danny Buskey. We say, have you already started a ministry? Or are you ready to start a ministry? We will help you. Like Kingdom Commonwealth Fellowship of Churches, be your covering. And we will help you with prayer, funding, uh, counsel advice, uh, legal help, anything that is what we call barn building. In the old days, when uh, farmers were going to build a barn, all the other farmers came and they did it in one day. So many hands make light work. So that's our premise. We're about 50-50 is Bishop's rule. If you hand him $100, he's going to spend 50 in the church and 50 in the community. He is not about just keeping everything in the church. And it can't be about just giving everything to the community because the church won't survive. So that is our program pretty much in a nutshell. Have any question about ne next week's class? registration, cost, scholarship, the new retreat facility. God bless you. Our inaugural students, 
Please get all your schedules and everything together. Make sure Shepherdess Ann has your registration whenever you're taking your class. We need ladies. I really need you to still help promote. And I know that you will because we love, Wimmy loves you and you love Wimmy. I know that. Ladies, please spread the word. I'm looking for a minimum of 50 students. Whenever the Lord deals with me, he usually gives me my minimum. I only ask for 12. I only asked for 12 and I got 22. So I'm only asking for 50, including the ones I already have. So he'll probably exceed that. Thank you for your attention, your time, your devotion, for your sweet, sweet spirits, for your getting over uh, inconveniences, for allowing God to process you, for trusting me to teach you, and for coming back to trust me again, whether you're starting next week or in April or whenever. Welcome to the Women in Ministry Institute, the place where God makes it affordable for you to be processed, to progress, to have an emerging curriculum that is spirit-led, to have application and impartation from certificate level deaconess elder to pastor, prophet, ap apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist, associate's degree to a bachelor's to a master's degree to a PhD and what I call a kingdom mastery degree, my final cream of the crop um, course that I have to do by the Lord's leading. And then if you're interested in having a ministry and having us cover you to a kingdom commonwealth internship, welcome to all that opportunity. Yes, Amber, everything I has been Wimmy wonderful. And I'm excited to remind you Bring your own onion. Cry, but weeping may endure for a night, but joy is going to come in the morning. And God counts all your tears. So if the tests get too hard, go ahead and wipe your weary eyes and ask God to help you because you're learning and growing. You're going from process to progress. You are emerging. You are getting application and you are getting impartation and your life is going to change. And that means, guess what? You get to benefit others. And that's what ministry is about. It's going to change. Ask these ladies, any of you new ladies, ask the ladies who you see on here who say they're already students. Ask them what happened in their own personal lives. Ask them what happened with their husbands that was new and different. And don't forget, I'm asking you, when I end this orientation, I want to see a whole bunch of uh, fun emojis and things that saying, yay, our own retreat center spot. So ladies, if you're wondering because it's a campsite, if there are some inconveniences, of course, of course. But you are women in ministry graduating. So I'm not sending you to an outhouse. But you will discover exactly how it's set up and you will let God process you. Or you have signed up for the wrong school. Not, I'm not going to be mad at you.